So this is a team of five getting ready for an overnighter. We have Astrid and Martin and Dieter and Sharon and yours truly. And we are going in that direction. And hopefully we're going to be doing a big loop into Snow Leopard territory. So we have some fairly serious packs with binoculars, data sheets, maps. Tents, sleeping bags, and all the stuff that we need for a night out. And Astrid is setting the pace and I'm already tired and sweating. So almost 12 o'clock, first day just come up a valley towards the high mountains and on the path we found wolf scat and then during some observation stops uh, we saw four ibex crossing a saddle um, in the in these mountains in front of us so a good start to the survey So what are they doing now? So 11 or 12 ibexes, one fox carcass. that smelled very much of urine. We couldn't find any marking spots or scats. If I was a snow leopard, I would not live here. I'd love to live here, actually. You need to be a snow leopard, actually. So we've just spotted them tracks in the snow which we're going to investigate and then we'll have to turn around and get back the weather's moving in as well it looks blue but then it gets grey oh, well as you can see the weather has moved in but we have had a successful day, Ibex sightings, Ibex tracks, and we're just putting up the tents for the night. And the tea is brewing. Six o'clock in the morning. Looks like we're going to have another beautiful day for the second day of our two-day loop. So it's smoky breakfast. Astrid and Martin were in the unfeasibly small tent and we're very cozy. And then Dieter, Sharon and I were in the three-man tent. Oh, okay, the sun has finally come down to our camp. So we're packing up, drying out the tents ready for another day. Higher up from our from the place where we spent the night. The sun's just rising over the glacier. And we're heading towards that saddle today to crest to the other side of the ridge and then back down surveying and then back down to base. Here come 
faster than Martin. <laughs> Above where we slip now. So we got to we got to the top, but there's too much snow. We can't cross where we wanted to. So the boys have got testosterone coming out of their ears and want to contour along. The girls are not so sure. So we're going to go with the girls and have a look at the mountain first, and then we'll decide. way but we found the pass and we're just crossing it going down to the other side hopefully a bit of shelter and lunch lunch spot About three and a half And now we're on back on meadows, just descending down into the valley and then back to base. It's been a really good trip. We've been really, really lucky with the weather. It's just moving in now, getting gray, probably rain in a minute. Um, we had Ibex sign, quite a few Ibex sightings. So that's great. No sign of snow leopard so far, but hey, it's only one of uh, two day loops. So many more to come. Very, 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 very cold. Oh, last few steps and then we're at base. Time for a photo.